what's been um, doing what to do and getting better at it in the past few years. What what does it take? What does it take in? I'll be honest. It's I don't think anybody in any industry in Nigeria has anything really figured out. You go with the flow as it's coming, you hope for opportunities, and you seize those opportunities when they come. I don't think there's any kind of, maybe even business, business venture, yeah. even um, a nine to five career. There's no security in anything per se. So you just keep striving and then you're just on the lookout for any chance you can get to have a break. So that's how it's been for me. I, I won't pretend. I mean, you know what you want, but being sure of how to get it in Nigeria is very, maybe in other countries, I don't know, but being sure of how to get it in Nigeria is challenging. But it's a very interesting challenge. I've been up for the, for the task. I've been pushing it. I'm enjoying it, but it's, it's not been... How many years? I think it's about 2003 till now, be about seven, 18 years? Mm -hmm. 17 years now. Uh, you started out as a model, right? Um, with pageants before delving into the movie industry. Um, why, of all the opportunities you had, I know that, of course, as a model, Yes, come on, well, come on, Miss Nadia. So there are other opportunities. Why did you choose modeling? There were not too many opportunities with modeling. Oh, really? That's the true information. As at then, you know, there's always this. Um, even pageantry had this this eye, you know, that is it all the lady wants to do? Even when you're in the pageantry, they ask you. So when you win, what do you? What would you like to do? It means that I mean, there's so much more than just modeling now. Pageantry. It's a good thing. I mean, it's a great platform. And then but from there on, the door is now open to you. So what do you do next? That's how the modeling was for me. Beyond that, there was not too much to do. Then there were not too many designers. I knew I had worked for them for Tiffany Amba. I worked for Monami. I think I had the opportunity to do a show for Adebayo Jones. But how many more could you name at mm. that time? There were not too many. And you know, the drive and the energy to go, go, go is there. So after you finish those shows, what next? So it means the next time you're able to make money is until maybe a few of those other designers come up with a show. You can't wait. So I think then modeling was not so rewarding for maybe some of us. Okay. So how did movie start for uh, Kevin Van Collin? It started with the Wally Adinga Productions. It's a story that everybody knows. I started there. Uh, I had gone in for an audition, went back to school, and then they had reached out to tell me that, oh, they wanted to work with me. And after that first one, they kept calling me back to, I mean, to come and work. So I'd gone to that audition uh, on my twin sister's invitation, you know, and for, the rest is, is, is history, yes. Yeah, one that choice that you don't really have too much, I mean, have scandals that I've never uh, read. Do people say so? In <laughs> 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 I've never read any. Oh, but any scandal for that? This is doing it. Just to pay off. Now I've given No, I will be asking you guys. I'm serious. I'm, no, 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 I'm serious. I've never, I've never read anything. Oh, you've not had my time. That's right. Sincere. No, but the truth is. I, I don't even have any information about it. Like, I am the least inclined to even want to know what's going on about it. Because there's no time. 24 hours even seems like it's not enough to get a job done, pay your bills, be healthy, struggle against COVID. I mean, there's just so much going on. So if I even have any time, I'm always the last to hear anything, even about myself. I was here yeah, that they said this. I'll say, eh, because I'm also hearing for the first time. So I actually don't pay attention to it on a serious note this is not in any way to maybe say anything negative or feel like oh uh, you know but i don't pay attention to it and if i hear anything i'm telling you as everyone else is hearing it for the first time i'm also hearing it for the first time and i will not give it the light of day because as i'm listening to it will you pay my bills no will you give me the next challenge i'm trying to um you know surmount or something no you won't so i'm i'm 
being honest, I have no clue no, about it. I, let, let me for you. Please do. You, how many years now in the industry? 17. 17 years. <laughs> That's and then of. we've never heard of, ah, I think the bank colleagues, my support is of one. Or I think the bank colleagues, they met here somewhere. And no, nothing like that, but that's what I'm talking about. So how have you been doing it? So I'm it? telling you, there's no, there's no answer. There's no, you know, you see the way I was meant to have been here to pick up my gorgeous award, but I have had to go and do this, go and do that. I arrived in Lagos about five days ago, four or five days ago. I had to attend Mr. Falion's premiere. I called you, although, but you didn't pick up. I was trying to ask when I could. I sent you a message. Eventually, we were able to talk as soon as I landed in Lagos. But that's how it is, where you're busy trying to make a dress. The dressmaker will not make it for free. You're bringing... You're, you're, I'm busy. I think that's the word. I'm completely busy. There's no room for me to to create one. I mean, there's no time because I'm actually really busy. Maybe if I'm less busy, and if people give me ideas on what to do, <laughs> just tell me what you need me to do. Okay, that's so spread okay. tabloids here. Yeah, okay, tell us you about know. your background, how it's helped your career. And how your background also helps the, the good girl image. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm still telling you. I think in the way it has to do with your because that's you can't run away from kudos it. to that's, my mother yeah, kudos true. to my mother if it is as you say because i mean you guys are the <laughs> you are the you are the ones that say what is if it is as you say it will be complete unreserved kudos to my mother um she makes sure every child is busy every child is raised to be busy when you're on holiday you earn things towards your next school, boarding school resumption. She gives you tax, tasks, and as you execute them, you get money, or you are busy in some religious activity or the other, or there's a sporting activity. You are, you are just occupied. And then she talks to us, she counsels us a lot. Uh, then if you want something, work for it. That's the way we were raised. So always work for it. And while you're working for it, certain things will come by grace. You will not need to work for everything. You will not need to... You know, so I think maybe if, if you're seeing the discipline, it must be from my mother, okay. uh, as we were raised, actually. Okay. Um, so before you leave that, can you tell us where you were born, going up here? Is that, oh, yes. Uh, born in Lagos. Okay. All, myself and all my other siblings were six in number, all of us. Three boys, three girls, including my twin sister. Uh, all born in Lagos, but we are from Ogu State, Abe Uh... Uh, schools, primary, secondary, um, half partially Lagos. The entire primary was Lagos. Secondary was partially Abeokuta and Lagos. Boarding school and day school. University was Ogun State University. So everything has been within between Lagos and Ogun State. Um, uh, growing up was was light. It was nice and easy. It's a full house all the time. Six kids. Um, you always have somebody to, there's always a companion or uh, what you could company. You always, is it that if the older ones are not around, the younger ones will be around. And then also, I think the number of kids we were allowed us to sort of like raise one another. So it's like the middle ones are looking out for the younger ones, the older ones. Everybody's responsible for somebody. Um, uh, my dad is a disciplinarian, but a lover of kids. He loves his family, like family first kind of person. My mother is, you know, uh, spiritual, religious, uh, family first as well. Uh, what else? Your university education or higher institution, so to say. Mm -hmm. Will you mention of your family? No, I did. I said it. Okay, okay like you, a man turned best actress for city people this year. And you're rated, <laughs> you're rated among the top, you understand, making waves in the industry. How does that make you feel? Um, it make, I'm, I'm quite competitive, so it makes me feel good, definitely. It makes me feel grateful. And it also just assures me that if I have this now, it means then that every other thing I want, I'm going to get it. It may just be a matter of when, you know, I don't know how, but it just sort of is quite reassuring. So I, I just feel a little more at peace, you know. So every time I'm looking at your number, I'm calling you, I'm like, I'm controlling you. It's just an assurance that some people are seeing what you're doing. 
regardless of how long it's been, regardless of, you know. And then another key thing is, it's not just about what we strive to attain abroad. At home, are you still noticed? Are you still, because as your career grows, you want international recognition. My work now is like theater, abroad. I want more of that. I mean, I want to earn in dollars. We all know what dollars is saying right now. But, you know, do you still have some kind of solid base at home? When you collect all of that thing, you're coming home to come and show up and say, oh, I finally did this. Is there somebody there to listen? So if a media company now gives you an award, do you know what that means? That is the ears of people. That is the voice of some people. That is like, it's still, it's still your opportunity to, if you've maybe lost your cause or you're not sure, it's your opportunity to say, oh, I still have this. So most importantly, it's just gratitude. I just really feel grateful. And I feel like, calm down, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you're still there, you know, that kind of thing. Wow. Then your, then, identity right. or personality. Oh. You are this one different person on the screen and then oh. off the screen, you also have your personal life. How do you balance the two? Uh, work is work. My life, my personal life is my personal life. That's what I've done. That one I can answer clearly. Okay. What I've done is to separate it, like completely separate it. Um, if I feel this is private, this is personal, it stays so. If I feel this is work, I throw myself into it. Um, in, in fact, if I feel like being quiet or whatever it is people see, whatever they think I am or who they think I am, if I feel that's what will get the job done, I face that. But as soon as that is done, I come back to my normal self. I mean, I come back to, I come back to being me, you know. So that's what I've had to do. I've had to leave work once I'm done with work. Um, that's what I do. Okay, so what's next for Ken? What, what projects are you working on right now? Before we go to that, why don't you talk about your work? It's private. It's private. <laughs> and that's that's why, maybe that's why you've not had something to write. <laughs> because, like I said, I, I'm quite sure of that one. I keep like that distinction, that separation, because it just gives you that kind, that, um, there's so much going on. There's so much going on. You just don't want to complicate things by not having too much information out there. So I try to sort of like keep everything simple. You know, if they find out stuff, I mean, they, they, they found out, no, no, okay. But then to now put those information out there and then you have to answer questions and then you don't have the opportunity to go back and tell people that, no, it's not actually, it is this way, but it went out. I mean, to save myself all of that stress and so as not to be misunderstood or whatever, I just leave it. I don't even say anything about it. And that's how, I think that's how I've actually managed to survive, to sort of like keep, to keep my head uh, calm, I think that's what I do. Okay, so uh, I was talking about uh, the projects you're working on. You talked about uh, the movies abroad, the theater abroad, and all that. So let us into it. What is Kenny Bankoli doing right now? So we're on our initially we we're meant to film a certain project, but we changed course because the project. It was clear that the project needed a little more time. Um, what I'm doing now is making a film that you will see on our uh, usual platforms, the Netflix the and the other people that are coming. Opportunities are here. So it's time for, if you are an actor and you feel, oh, you're going to get the best opportunity, stay in the course as an actor. Stay. It. If you feel you get a little more, quickly diving into producing or associate producing. Right now, there's no hard or fast route to get anything done. Wherever the opportunities are coming, take it. So for me now, I see a lot of opportunity to maximize producing. So that's where I'm. I'm sort of like taking a little bit of break from working for a while without telling them I'm saying I took a break for a while so that I could work on the scripts and the stories. And we are actually at the pre-production stage now, about to film, sort of. So that's the stage I'm on. And we have two slates of films, one after the other, of course. You're not letting the cat out of the bag yet? No. In this, the first one, we let the cats in that first one out too early and we discovered that oh, the film was not ready. It was supposed to be um, some kind of um, superhero, female superhero kind of 
film, local superhero kind of film. But the film would need to wait. If what's what doing well? Uh, what's what doing at all is what doing well. So we'll move on to something else. And if something else, as soon as I mean, it's time for it to come out, everybody would see. But it's, it's a simple romantic drama, simple lovely romantic drama. So your one actress that I know doesn't keep lots of friends in the industry. That's what I'm going to do about it. But you have this very unique relationship with Tonya Brown. So what's what's the connection? It's just what you call it, unique um, <laughs> friendship. It's just I mean you make friend you make that kind of connection with a few people uh, over the years as you're working. So there's her, there's a couple of other people as well. It's just that maybe because I'm not so, I don't dis, I don't um, display the friendship online or something. But if my other friend now happens to be the one that's social, there's no way that people will not notice it. But as you go along the in the job, you're going to meet people that will become very close friends, very close associates, sister-like kind of thing, brother-like. So she's one of them, definitely. What do you like about? What I like about her, go get her. Go get her. Look, let's sit down and talk about this. Thing. Let's brainstorm about this thing. In, if we say, okay, in so 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 time, we need to get this thing done. The morning or the day one of that day, she will call me and say, where? We are ready. I'm like, eh, but we still, the perfectionist in me, we still say, let us. She say, no, let's, we're ready, let's move. So if you, if she sets something to get something done, she goes for it. That's one amazing and um, beautiful thing about her, honestly. You, you're this actress that, um, or this actor rather, that um, seem to be uh, seen as not a plain um, roles that are um, full of controversies. Get me right. What I'm trying to say is that um, you, unlike others, you don't seem to expose your body. You seem to be this um, good blood kind of person, even in movies. Who's responsible for that? Maybe the choice of roles. Maybe it could, it could be the choice of roles. You know, you can't, you can't act beyond what you have chosen. If you tend to choose a particular pattern for a while, for, for your whatever reason may be, you can't go out of that role. So I think the other um, characters you're describing or the other image you're describing may come out when I take other roles. But as long as you, for a while, you're trying to understand this thing and you're taking certain roles, that's what people will keep seeing. Until I explore and I probably take other things, then you know, then they will see this other side that you may be describing. I think what you've been seeing really is just because of the rules I've been, the kind of rules I've been taking. Okay, so let's talk about you and Taiwo. You are here, the public figure, Taiwo is there, um, not really known. So how do you, how do you balance up? <laughs> You'll be surprised that Taiwo is more known. Taiwo is yes, and she's not, she's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. Ah, is, whatever it is you thought I was, that's Taiwo. And whatever it is you thought Taiwo was, that's me. <laughs> She's out popular. there. She's very social. Yes. She's an event planner, so by yes. the nature of her job, she knows people. She's sociable. She's um. She has a very retentive memory, also. Like if I want to remember somebody, I just need to call her and say, "So you know, I can describe as far back as maybe GSS three. I'll say, do you do you remember anybody? Uh, I will say, uh, she has marks like this. I say, God, she say, uh, I used to wear blues shirts. I'm like, how do you remember things like that? So I think her nature allows her to also. Be out there, you know. Yeah, I think she's that kind of person. So let's talk about Kay, the style queen. Style queen. Mm -hmm. hey. yeah. <laughs> it's my day to day. <laughs> oh. So have you been able to always look good? Um, I. <laughs> okay, first of all, thank you. I think I try to choose comfort, and I try to choose, um, you know, in between being. Being serious and being, being uh, what's it called? I like it to be a bit in, in formal and informal. So I always just try to not be too much on one side. Then I choose styles that just, I don't know, just depict my, my state of mind at that time. Yeah, if it's, if it's business I'm thinking, I want that as soon as I walk in. The way I pair should give you an idea that 
I don't want to play, you know. And if it's the other way, I mean, if it's something, whatever else it is, the occasion requires, I would just dress according to it. So that's what informs my style and comfort. I just always like to be comfortable. How do you relax? I love to watch movies. That's what I do to relax. I can watch movies for days. Days. So that's what I do. Okay, so um, right now, where would you place a um, mono amongst um, other contemporary um, movie industries around the world? Where would you place Nollywood? Nollywood is on the verge of excellence at the moment. I don't know much. I mean, I'm only this young. So I may not be able to say something wise about the direction that Nollywood should go. But if we get some things right, right now, there's a lot of great window for collaboration, especially, where everyone is, where we find a lot of people doing well individually, doing well. But imagine how much more they can do if all the powerhouses will come together and say, okay, let's make one film together. We will still have our independent businesses, but let's come together and do something. So I think uh, Nollywood is just on the verge of breaking something amazing. But there are still certain things they need to look at, especially in the area of collaboration. Certain so things like what? Certain yeah. things just like working together, that's what I mean. Okay. Trying to create something bigger. For instance, we've had the Americans came and told our own story. They did Wakanda. All of us loved it. What stops us from doing that? If you when you're checking the end credits of such materials, you see tons of tons of names upon names of producers, DPs, directors, studios. If it could have been done by one person, one person would have done it. But it means that some of these things, the powerhouses need to come together and try to do something together. 